what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The L.A. County D.A. announced charges that former porn star Ron Jeremy has been accused of raping three women and sexually assaulting a fourth. District Attorney Jackie Lacey announced Tuesday her office had charged Ron Jeremy with three counts of forcible rape, three counts of forcible penetration by a foreign object, one count of forcible oral copulation, and one count of sexual battery. The charges relate to four separate incidents dating back to 2014. According to the DA's office, a 25-year-old woman claims Ron Jeremy forcibly raped her at her home in WeHo back in May 2014. Prosecutors also say Ron Jeremy allegedly sexually assaulted two women on separate occasions at a WeHo bar back in 2017. A 30-year-old woman claims that Ron Jeremy raped her at the same bar back in July 2019. Arraignment was set for Tuesday afternoon and prosecutors were seeking a $6.6 .6 million bail. If convicted, Ron Jeremy faces a possible maximum sentence of 90 years to life in prison. Something that sticks out right away, just besides a porn star, being accused of rape. They're claiming that he raped them at a bar. Who owns this bar? How does he have access to this bar and, and why is he frequent, frequenting this place and he feels so brazen if we are to believe these charges? To rape women inside of a bar. Ma, this is the thing about these rape allegations, man. Once they throw it out there, you don't really know what to believe because we know that there are women that lie. But we also know that there are many women who tell the truth. But man, it just seems like to me, though, the older the case, the less credibility that the women have. Not saying that it didn't happen. It's just hard to believe and it's hard to convict, in my opinion, when you let all that time go by and no conviction. I can see perhaps if some of these women were children, you know, it was a little girl or something at the time, but grown women and waiting for sometimes decades. Now, this was not decades. These are not old cases like the Cosby cases. I think the oldest case is uh, six years. That's not too bad. It's not too long. But it's going to be definitely interesting. This case is either going to be easy to prosecute or difficult considering his profession that he was in. Ron Jeremy, I would have never thought that. I mean, I know it's a slimy business. I know it, I know it, I know it. But it's one of those things that kind of goes with the business, right? Think about what I'm saying. A lot of these women come from bad, bad home environments and they go into the porn industry. And there are a lot of slime balls in that industry, period. Some of the worst people in the world get into the porn industry just so that they can take advantage of women, just so they can have free sex with these women. And these women, when they get on, they'll do anything to get on. You know, do pull out a camera. Okay, let me see your tits. Okay, how old are you when you first, how old were you when you first started? <laughs> you know, 
Um, what's some of those other questions? You know, um, um, what kind of sex do you like? What, what's your favorite position? You like guys or girls or it doesn't matter and stuff like, you know, uh, I've heard that this is what they say. I ain't ashamed to say I watch a little porn every now and then. There ain't nothing wrong with watching a little porn every now and then. Uh, but the thing is, it's just hard to me, I think. I think it's going to be hard to prosecute when you look at, and I'm sure that, well, I'm not sure, but I'm willing to bet that those same women are probably in the industry. And if they are, I think it's going to be really hard to prosecute. If they aren't, it may not be so hard. And if that's the case, somebody should have given Ron the memo that it doesn't matter who you are. When you get to be a certain age and you let yourself go, the kitty cat doesn't come as easy. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? <laughs>